Hey everyone, I think it's come time to talk about a noble virtue again, and uh, this one I'll do is honor, and I'll try to talk how I espouse honor and try to um, make it real to me. Um, you know, honor is in everything we do, and honorous act is anything. And and as I think you, if you watch these videos in sequence to each other, you will see that all of the noble virtues interplay and interact with each other, and you cannot uphold one without using the other. So you, sometimes to uphold honor, you must be courageous. Sometimes to uphold honor, you must be disciplined. Sometimes you must be industrious. You have to persevere, rely on yourself. But as I'll talk about honor, I'll just put it in a couple terms for us as um, I related to my everyday life today. Great day. It was Mother's Day. So I honored my mother. I took part in a 5k with her to um, memorialize the fact that she got into running four years ago on Mother's Day and it's brought her a lot of happiness returned her back to her high school weight pretty much even though she's almost 60 years old um, and then I honored my best friend's mother who died of pancreatic cancer the 5k we did today was for pancreatic cancer and she she died in August and it's our third one running together but also honored myself and I honored my gods because through my own wish of self-betterment, I worked out and really tried hard to get a better time. And I did get a better time. And I was 28th overall, six for my age group, which is something I'm very, very proud of because I wasn't a runner as a kid. I've talked to you before about my own inefficiencies with my physical uh, being with my legs. And I had a nice long conversation with a friend of mine uh, who came to my work. I, I've I worked 12 hours um, after this long day, Mother's Day, and I was talking about noble virtues and talking to him about our community here and, and how great it is to be part of it and about my own self-honor because we all teach each other here and, and in other belief systems, other religions, you could be manipulative. And it's all on your own scruples and your own sense of moral uprightness and your own sense of honor that you do not manipulate and try to make others believe your own system for points of gain. As in, in the Abrahamic faiths, the messiahs or the saviors are often dead by the time other people are disseminating their stories and those people are manipulating because there's no proof, there's no culpability. So it is all about honor. Life is about honor. You must always strive. Like I said, it always comes from within. You know, we have to be cognizant and open and aware of these things. It's all about self-righteousness. And, and you must do the right thing. And if you don't hold yourself to the higher standard, who will? Sorry, it's getting light here. and I need some sleep. Thank you, and I'll talk to you all soon.